So, the way that you squat, it was, you know, a lot of your biggest videos, mm. very low, hip crease very low, almost, you know, smashing your calves against your hamstrings, no knee sleeves, no belt, no wraps, or anything like that. Yeah. Why did you want to do that? Honestly, the main reason I do that is because it looks the best, and I want my lifts to look electric and impressive. Um, I want to look like a 100 meter runner when I'm lifting, you know, I, I don't want to be wearing you know, tight knee, knee straps, a belt, I don't know, I, I just never liked the look of that. And that's why I got into weightlifting. Like one of the first videos I saw was Paris Diemas at the 1996 Olympics and the only thing he was wearing was weightlifting shoes. And to me he looked like an athlete. And I was just so turned off like watching, <laughs> like especially powerlifting, powerlifting videos back then. Uh, my powerlifting is definitely better now, like especially raw powerlifting in the IPF. But yeah, back then, I was just really turned off powerlifting because of all the equipment to use. And so when you were kind of teaching yourself to do this, you had the mobility and you would just sit down there or how did... Yeah, how day did one I had the mobility. Uh, yes, yeah. and you just sat. And it's because I started early as well, weightlifting. I started weightlifting when I was 15. Whereas if I started weightlifting when I was, I don't know, 30 years old, probably wouldn't have had the mobility to squat or for a squat. So in that session where you and I are squatting, I kind of just sat down there. So yeah. in, in my mind, someone who started squatting for weightlifting, more specifically for weightlifting with a little bit more range of motion, yeah. I th think of it as two different squats. So the one that I wanted to do with you was like, my start point is the bottom position. Mm. And then I worry about standing up from there. Okay. So rather than get super set and then just like squeeze on the way down, I kind of just like get into the spot. I don't care how I do it. Okay. You know? And then that way I can loosen up and start lifting heavier. And then I got that, that 160. Mm. But I imagine for you, it's obviously a different story. Uh, but that depth that you hit, you know, we were talking about it. I don't know that there are many other weightlifters kind of hitting that depth, like male weightlifters. Yeah, it's probably Klokov is the one that came yeah. came to mind when mm -hmm. we talked about it, but I don't know of any others. Do you I guess know it has that? to do with like body structure as well. Like I can get a lot but they, deeper. But they hit. No, I'm yeah. talking elite male weightlifters mm. hit that depth. Yeah, yeah. But they don't do it when they're back squat. Oh, I got you. Like so, Eli Elin. Like Eli Elin goes oh. extremely deep on the snatch and clean, for example, but he causes that in the front squat. Yes. Yeah. 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 And you just kind of, in spite of all of those weightlifters, like yeah. Piros, a guy like that, you just still wanted to go. Very like for me, I, I want to make the squat as hard as possible. I want to, to make it look as impressive as possible. So that's why I squat that deep. You know? And it, it feels the best for me as well. Like, like, well I, I, don't li I don't like the idea of cutting any depth on any exercise, really. Like, um, same goes for like, you know, uh, deadlift. You know, I want to make it as hard as possible. I want to do it like with weightlifting shoes, uh, conventional, not sumo, uh, with bench press, so use an arrow grip because I believe it just, looks the best yeah it's the best display of like strength yeah whereas like for me like lower squatting to 90 degrees and sumo deadlift thing you know that's not a good display of strength that's just a display of like good technique right yeah right and getting as much weight on the bar as possible i think of it a lot of times like weightlifting because you're working on technique mm. and load isn't the what the goal yeah and um you can do some sort of variance, like if you do a hang snatch or you snatch from blocks, yeah, yeah. you can focus on one thing. Mm. And you can focus on maybe the broad aesthetic of the lift. Yeah. And then build from there to the point where you're actually lifting heavy weight. Mm. Your focus was far more on the aesthetic yeah. side, yeah. range of motion side. Because I feel like people worry way too much or only care about like how much weight is on the bar and how much they can lift. And they don't care about how the lift looks. Yeah, and then this is the thing though, this is the yeah. beauty of it. You did worry about that, and then you did it for so long that yeah. you actually started to lift the weight that other people were lifting.
Come on, Jango. Keep your chin up and go. Just drive it high. Thank you. 